Now that the cloning is complete, you would be expecting your laptop to boot up faster. But then you realize that nothing has really changed and the laptop is as slow as ever. This is because though a copy of the OS and applications is available on the SSD, the laptop is still referring to the copy on the old SGD. So this is where the BIOS settings comes into the picture. The BIOS settings tells the laptop where to look for the boot up instructions. These settings would need to be updated so that it now points to the SSD. To do this, you will have to enter the BIOS settings screen. You can restart the laptop and press F12 to enter the BIOS settings screen. However, different laptops can have different keys to enter the BIOS settings. I therefore prefer the following option. Go to the start menu and click on settings. Once there, click on update and security. Then go to recovery and click on restart now under the advanced startup tab. The laptop will now restart and you will land on the options screen. Click on troubleshoot and then the advanced options. Now choose UEFI firmware settings and click on restart. Now you are in the boot settings. Go to the boot tab. Here you can see all the various boot options that are available. However, SSD is not there right now. To add SSD as an option, go to the file browser add boot option. In my case, partition 2 is where the boot partition is and that is where the EFI file is present. The EFI file has instructions about where to boot from. Click on partition 2 and here you will find a folder called EFI. Click on it and go to the boot folder inside this EFI folder. Here you will find the bootx64.efi file. This is the EFI file required for the booter. Click on it. Once you clicked on it, you will get an option to set a name for this boot option. I went with SSD. Now you will see that a boot option called SSD is showing up. However, it is at number 5. This means the laptop will look at the first 4 options before coming to the SSD option. But since we want the SSD to be the first preference, we will have to click on the boot option 1 and then choose SSD. With this, the SSD has become the first preference. You can now go to the exit tab and click on save changes and reset. Now the laptop will restart and boot from the SSD. Now check out for yourself how fast it is. That's right, just 45 seconds. From the initial 4 minutes on the SDD, the boot time is now down to a mere 45 seconds. That is a massive 80% improvement in boot time. And the change in performance was dramatic with applications as well. All applications including Chrome open up instantaneously. As I said earlier, everything was placing fast. So there it is. For a mere 4000 rupees, I have managed to transform my old slow laptop into a super fast machine. So if you are struggling with an old laptop, I think you should get an SSG too. Hope this video helps you and if it does, do share it with your friends.